Welcome back. In this video, we will perform CRUD operation in ASP.NET Core. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then kindly subscribe it. First of all, we have this student model with the properties ID, name, email, address. And in our app DB context, we have students with the property DB set. That means we have this students table in the database. So after that, I will make use of scaffolding. Right click on controllers, add new scaffold atom, or you can go to this controller. Here, I will be using MVC controller with views using entity framework. Add Now here it is asking me about the model class for which I want to create a controller. So I will give it student and the DB context class is the name of your DB context class. Now add. It may take some time, but be patient. Okay, we have got it. A complete controller. Now I will add a link in layout. I already have a link here students, ASP controller students, and action is index. So it will target the default page. Now, after that, I will go to applications and I will run it through Chrome. We have got a link here with the name students. Click on it. Now you can see that I already have some dummy data in it. First of all, I will create a new student and its name will be Umair. Email address can be anything. Address will be, let's say, ABC. You can see that we have got a message from input control that it is an invalid email. So I will make it a valid email just like this. This is the format of email. Now, why this is giving us the message of invalid email address? Because in our model, we have an email property with a validation that this should be email address. So for that reason, if I inspect this one, you can see that instead of a text type, we have an email type. So that's why we are getting a message that this should be a valid email. Okay, so I will now create it. Now data added successfully in the last row. Now I will edit it. Save. Now it is also working fine. What if I want to delete it? So for delete, we have a new page here and it is displaying the all data and we will delete it. The last row got deleted. So now let's understand some code. In our student controller, we have index action. It is returning a view and it is getting the data of all students in the form of list. This condition is like select steric from students table. Now in the detail, we have a ID as a route. If this ID is null or students database is null, we will send not found. Other than that, we will find the first value of students on the base of ID and we will return that to the view. Why? Because on the details page, you can see that we are returning a data of a model. If I go to this detail view, here we are getting the view. We are populating it in description list name email address in the bottom we have this edit action that will go back to edit on the base of id and then we have back to list that will go to index page similarly we have this back to list and edit if i go to edit it will go to edit page if i go to back to list it will go back to the index page so this is how navigation is working 
now after that details page we have a create page it will be empty in the create page we have got a student model we will fill the properties here after that we have a submit button here is a form that form is sending the form data to the create action that means for create we have a display page first and then we have a http post action that will save the data to the database so after this submit click we will go to controller here we have got the data of students and bind means the properties that we want to bind what is model state model state is validating the validations that we have applied on student model let's say i have name with the required data annotation so let me try that whether it gives error or not i will go to create new i will create now you can see that the name field is required we have got this message this is because when we go to our controller this model state is validating the state of model that all the validations are okay or not if they are okay we will create a new record if not we will send back to the view with the students value and in the create page we have this tag helper this will give us validation messages so if the condition is valid we will add a new student after adding the student we will save changes this save changes will send the updates to the database and lastly we will return back to the index section now similarly we have edit action on edit we have a id if it is null then not found then we will find on the base of id if a record is not found then we will return the not found page other than that we will return a student with the data on the base of id so edit page is similar to the create page there is only one difference that is this hidden property and it is representing the id of that student that we want to edit so in the student controller we have a http post for this edit you can see it here and we are binding the properties alongside we have a student model alongside we have a id this is edit action this id is the route id and it will come here so if that id and the id in student hidden type if they are not matching then return found other than that we will update the student and save changes now lastly we have a delete action on the base of id and the same condition that we have found earlier first of all we will find the students on the base of id if it is not found we will return not found and then we will return a view with the student now i want to modify this view because i don't need an extra view for this purpose so for that reason i will stop the application and after finding the student if it is null then not found else we will make use of context dot student dot remove okay we will pass this student value in the remove fine you can see similar thing is happening here okay now after that we will save changes context dot save changes async and lastly we will return back to index section so now whenever a request comes to this delete action it will delete automatically okay now i can remove this method and in the code i can delete this delete action and in index page I just want some classes these are bootstrap classes okay
so I will run it again. Now you can see that we have got some design here. Now I want to delete this student. It got deleted and page got refresh. So I just want one thing more that I want to add a confirm message on this delete. For that reason, on this delete action, I will make use of on click and here I will return JavaScript confirm method. In that, I will add a message. Are you sure to delete? So let's check whether it is working or not. Whenever you make minor changes, you can make use of this button, hot reload. It will automatically apply your changes to the browser. So let me refresh the page and delete. Okay, it is not working. Now I will make it a small C. Save it again. Save changes. Again. Now you can see that we have got a message. Are you sure to delete? If I cancel it, then it is cancelled. If I click on OK, then this will delete the student. So this is how crowd operation works in ESP.NET Core. In the next video, we will learn about file upload. So that's all from my side. Let's meet in the next video.